responsible for your success and your failure. And the sooner you realize that, you accept that and integrate that into your work ethic and you start being successful. Hello and welcome. As a web developer, the most commonly used languages for developing websites are HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now out of this, JavaScript is widely used by all websites. As the website gets complex, the JavaScript code also becomes more and more complex. To overcome this complexity, JavaScript libraries come into the picture. A JavaScript library is a file that contains functions that can be used to accomplish some tasks with minimal lines of code. jQuery is one of the JavaScript libraries which we are going to talk about in today's lecture. So what is jQuery? Well, jQuery is a lightweight, write less, do more JavaScript library. The purpose of jQuery is to make it much easier to use. JavaScript on your website. jQuery takes a lot of common tasks that require many lines of JavaScript code to accomplish and wraps them into methods that you can call with a single line of code. jQuery also simplifies a lot of the complicated things from JavaScript like Ajax calls and DOM manipulation. In addition, jQuery has plugins for almost any task out there. Now let us see some features of jQuery. The jQuery library contains the following features. HTML or DOM manipulation, CSS manipulation, HTML event methods, effects and animations, Ajax utility. Now one more interesting thing about jQuery is that jQuery uses document object model manipulation that is DOM library to traverse and select objects. All the elements of a web page are represented in the form of a tree wherein jQuery syntax is used for finding, selecting and traversing the elements of the DOM. Now we are going to see how to find DOM elements using jQuery in further course. Now the question is, will jQuery work in all browsers? Well, don't worry, the jQuery team knows all about cross-browser issues and they have written this knowledge into the jQuery library. jQuery will run exactly the same in all major browsers. So, this is all you need to know about jQuery today. We are learning about JavaScript's lightweight and most used library, that is jQuery. In order to know more about jQuery, we need to know how to get started with it. Now, it is very important to know how we can start with any programming language. That means how to install it or how to implement it, etc. So, in this lecture, we are going to learn two ways of adding jQuery into our web pages. Download the jQuery library from jQuery.com. Include jQuery from a CDN like Google. First of all, let us see how to download jQuery. So there are two versions of jQuery available for downloading. Production version. This is for your live website because it has been minified and compressed. Second is the development version. This is for testing and development, uncompressed and readable code. Both the versions can be downloaded from jQuery.com. So go to your favorite browser and type jQuery.com. There will be a website which lets you download the files. So open it and then go to the required file. Right click on the file and click on save link as and download the file into the folder in which you are going to do all your jQuery program. Now let us see how to add the external file into our program. The jQuery library is a single JavaScript file and you reference it with the HTML script tag. Also notice that the script tag should be inside the head section. Now there is an important note for you. Place the downloaded file in the same directory as the pages where you wish to use it. So let us move on to our second way of adding jQuery. 
from jQuery CDN. If you do not want to download and host jQuery yourself, you can include it from a CDN, that is Content Delivery Network. Google is an example of someone who hosts jQuery. This is how we can add it from CDN. Now, one big advantage of using the hosted jQuery from Google is that many users already have downloaded jQuery from Google when visiting another site. As a result, it will be loaded from cache when they visit your site, which leads to faster loading time. Also, most CDNs will make sure that once a user requests a file from it, it will be served from the server closest to them which also leads to faster loading time. So this is how we can add the jQuery in our programs. In the last lecture, we learned how to get started with jQuery. And now it's time for you to know the syntax of jQuery so that we can move forward to its examples. So without wasting any more time, let us get started. The jQuery syntax is tailor-made for selecting HTML elements and performing some actions on the elements. The basic syntax is $selector.action, a dollar sign to define or access jQuery, a selector to query or find HTML elements, a jQuery action to be performed on the elements. Now, let us see some examples of that dollar this dot height it hides the current element dollar p dot height it hides all p elements dollar dot test dot height it hides all elements with class equal to test dollar hashtag test dot height hides the element with id equal to test in the examples, we are going to write our jQuery methods inside the document ready event like this. Dollar document dot ready function jQuery methods go here. So this is to prevent any jQuery code from running before the document is finished loading. That is, it's ready. Well, it is good practice to wait for the document to be fully loaded and ready before working with it. This also allows us to have our JavaScript code before the body of our document in the head section. And here are some examples of actions that can fail if methods are run before the document is fully loaded. Trying to hide an element that is not created yet. Trying to get the size of an image that is not loaded yet. The jQuery team has also created an even shorter method for the document ready event. Dollar function jQuery methods go here. So this is the syntax of jQuery. In the next lecture, we will learn some selectors to select HTML elements with the help of jQuery. So I will meet you all very soon. Till then, stay safe and stay connected. Bye.